Many teachers are always keeping track of their lesson plans and especially wanting to compare how does this compare to last year or a previous year. Working with Julie Phillips, I think we have a workaround in plan book of how to do this, which will allow you to see what last year's lesson plans are, but then hiding it from the student view. So just follow along. Like right now, what you're looking at is my lesson plans. And let me just show you real quick here if I refresh. This is what currently the students or parents would see. So notice they're going to see these three classes through. So let me switch back. What you're going to want to do is go to your classes. Notice my yearbook independent study. This is the class that I have this year. I created a new class and I called it yearbook independent study 1718 indicating that's going to be last year and then I went through and I copied the lessons from the previous year's uh, my plan book. Next you're going to want to go to sharing options. You need to make sure your student key is enabled. A lot of this is fine. What you may not have noticed is right here there's another uh, spot. Select the status of lessons to display in student view and this is where you can adjust what do you want the students or the parents to see. You're going to need to make a decision. I went ahead and I said if there's no status then go ahead and show it. Um, and you can modify this however you want. So next what I'm going to do then is go to my lessons. So basically if there's no status it's going to show up. So I'm going to show you right here. Um, you may not have ever noticed this. If you click on the little um, four arrows, I'll try that again. It's a little touchy. Um, I'm going to click the status ready. It's like it's ready. So I'm going to go down here and I'll do a few of these ready and I'll do three of them. So notice all I'm doing is I need to check some some sort of status. And if I go back here now and I refresh it for this week, notice those three lessons have disappeared. As a teacher I can view them, but as the parent and student I do not need to view them. So probably the only thing is it might be a little bit of a pain to go ahead and mark those status things in, but if this is something you'd like to be able to do, uh, it might be worth it to keep track of your lesson plans from last year and this year. And hopefully this Take Two for Tech has helped you out to know if you're on track or not.